Look at this, third and nine, Brady drops back. Look at this tightly covered receiver he finds. Oh my fucking god, this makes me so fucking horny. Look at that shit. And he gets to get the first down, you little bitch. And he did. Second and five, Brady, Brady drops back. Look at again, another tightly covered receiver. How the fuck does he fit that win? How does he fit that in there? I don't know how he does it. He's 41, and guess what? He now has six rings. How about that, bitch? Brady's like, I'm gonna hand it off. No, I'm not, you little bitch. I'm gonna throw it. And he throws it again into another tight window to Rob Gronkowski, who's a horrible player. I have no idea how Brady does it, folks. John Brady is just so handsome. Look at this. Look at how Brady, again, just another tight window Brady fits this into. Just look at that's at least like one yard down the field. That's an incredibly difficult throw to make. I don't know how Tom Brady does it. He's 41 years old, and he encourages this guy to get the first down again. Just ridiculous. Again, Brady has like no time to throw at all, and then he finally does throw it. And again, a guy should get tightly covered again. How did, uh, Julian Edelman's a horrible player. Tom Brady somehow completed this pass to him. I have no idea how he does it. I miss my, I really miss my wife. <laughs> Super Bowl 53. I mean, wow. Tom Brady throwing for 569 yards. Five TDs. Sony Michelle with three rushing touchdowns. Gronk with one hand snags. And don't forget about Jared Goff. Jared Goff throwing for thousands and thousands and thousands of yards. Todd Gurley running kids over, hurdling kids, trucking kids. Oh, wait. Super Bowl 53 will be dubbed as the Punt Fest. That was the shittiest pile of shit I have ever watched in my whole life. I will never get that three hours back. Let's let's do the let's do the list of things that would have been better to spend my three hours on than watching that Super Bowl. I could have gotten Bella back. Just kidding. That's never happening. I could have whooped your boy Pizza and Madden three more times. I could have watched a good game of football. This Super Bowl was cheeks. Absolute booty cheeks. And you know what makes it worse? Tom Brady won. And yes, I am sick of the Patriots. And yes, Patriots fans, you can tell me that I'm jealous. Oh, I'm so jealous of the Patriots dynasty. I'm so jealous of the least athletic quarterback of all time. Here's, here's, here's a bunch of my thoughts. This is all my thoughts about the Super Bowl. For one, yes, the Patriots win games. However, they are without a doubt the most boring team to watch in the NFL. I don't want to see Julian Edelman catch a four-yard pass every single play. It's boring. Which is also, though, why I do not think the NFL is rigged. Because everyone wants to say the Patriots pay the refs, right? Well... <laughs> If the NFL's rigged, why wouldn't you rig it for, like, a likable team? Nobody likes the Patriots, other than literally people, like, from around that area or bandwagoners. Pretty much the whole league hates the Patriots. And it's not even just because they won a bunch of Super Bowls. People hate the Patriots because they're so fucking boring to watch. Nobody wants to watch Tom Brady's 5'2", 40-yard dash ass running around again in the Super Bowl. Like, uh, whatever. Also, let's just talk about the Super Bowl for a second. Sean McVay... Sean McVay, the whole season, was the ballsy young coach who ran smash mouth run plays, which set up nasty play action. Sean McVay in the Super Bowl uh, was a little girl. He ran halfback dive and quick slants the whole game until Jared Goff throws up a prayer and gets picked off. Where did Sean McVay go? Where did the Sean McVay that put up, how many, how many points did they score on the Chiefs? Where did that Sean McVay go? And you can't score more than three points against the Patriots? So whack. I am so sick of it. Yeah, I'm big mad if you can't tell. Whatever. Congrats, Tom Brady. We all know you're the greatest quarterback of all time. You're also the most boring quarterback of all time. I will be calling you the M Boat. M B most boring, most boring of all time. M Boat. Hell yeah. Genius. That's it for this. This is going to be a quick one. I just want to talk about that. Next year, my Super Bowl prediction, I would like to see the Chiefs and the Saints. <laughs> Actually, next next year's Super Bowl prediction, uh, Detroit Lions coming home with the dub. Yeah. We've never been to a Super Bowl, and we never will be at this rate. So that's it for this one, boys. I, I hope you enjoyed this little rant. Super Bowl 53 is whack. Super Bowl 54 better be beautiful. Peace.